So Elizabeth is an actress. She's a local actress in Colorado, and she's also a friend of mine. We produced some shoots together. The shoot was really a personal project. It was something I wanted to try. I wanted to bring a film noir look with my style on it. So something that has the drama and the feel of film noir, but also that I kind of bring my own feel and aesthetic to. We wanted it to feel kind of sad and contemplative at the same time, and then have a lighting style that complements that feeling and that emotion. For the portrait with Lisbeth Blonde, we did some kind of cool lighting. We had a top side light, and on that light we had a 12 degree spot grid. And on the spot grid, we actually taped a strip, so you've got about a two inch strip going down the middle. Then in front of the light, I have a 24 by 36 inch flag, and that's designed to cut down the light even more and create kind of that strip you see on her face. Then in front of the 24 by 36 inch, we have a 12 inch by 18 inch flag. And that's designed to do two things. One, cut the light off of her shoulders so we don't get any kind of spill. And two, take all of the light off the background so that's something that I can control. Then to bring some light back into the shadows, I have a big 75 inch indirect light motive octobox right behind my camera and that just kind of pushes light into the shadows, especially little details like the zippers and fingernails and things like that. On the background, to create that gradient, I just have a small strip box and that spills across to kind of separate her from the background. So we used flags in this image and really it gives you a lot more control over the lighting that you have there. I feel like flags are one of those things that are kind of underutilized because it gives you so much flexibility and freedom to change it and make a look and a feel that's all your own. So when you're working with a model and you're working with lighting that's this specific and narrow, you really want to make sure you're communicating with them, one, what you're trying to do, and two, how the light is acting on their face. Really it's about open communication between you and the model to make sure they understand what you're trying to do so you can all accomplish what's trying to be done. I really enjoy when something in my mind comes out on the screen as my final image or even in print in this case too. For a long time I think any artist kind of struggles with that period of time when you think about something really really cool and you go to try and do it and it just doesn't work. So now to be able to put up all of these different crazy things and then take a picture and see exactly what was in my head is really what a lot of my personal projects are about. Seeing something and then bringing it to life.